time for another What's in the Box Mystery Kickstarter Fulfillment Time. All right, guys, so here we go. This is a Kickstarter fulfillment. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is, but I'm not 100% positive, so we can all find out together. Let's see, ah, that's what I thought. We have Space Park, Key Master Games. Let me, no. well, here we go, Space Park. This is pretty, uh, pretty excited for this one. I was waiting for it. I, I know it's been out at, uh, it came out for Gen Con and a bunch of people had it and uh, it doesn't usually bug me, but I was eagerly awaiting this one. Anything that has a solo component these days, um, I don't know, I'm starting to get, get excited about playing more solo games. It uh, gives, me an ex gives me an excuse to play stuff, so here we go. Oh, nice. It's a nice little, um, nice little art in there, huh? That's always nice when they do that. They don't have to. Now, you know it costs a little bit extra money, but it's a nice little feature. You go Explorer Handbook, Volume 6, your first step into new worlds. Watch how to play it, enjoythegalaxy.com. Dot com. All right, so here we go. We have components, intro, nice crisp looking uh, manual. This is a breakdown of what each of the planets are gonna do. Nice to have at a glance. Hopefully there's some reference card or some way to easily tell. Scout or Wally. I know it's not Wally, but that's all I can think of when I see the Scout. And then a solo mode. Nice. All right, let's set that there. And here is our punch board. Now, obviously, these are going to punch out well because one's already floating around in the box. We got fast travel and our XPs, first player marker. There's our scout. <laughs> There's a remote control. And let's see, these pump out fairly well. Yeah, look at that. I love when these pop out said it before, but it's nice when uh, you don't have to worry about them tearing on the back end. And those are pretty thick. I mean, I could probably bend it and crease it, but you know, standard kind of tile. Look how easy those punch out. Look at that. It can punch the entire game during the unboxing. Oh man. Boom. And I'm ready to play, look at that. This, what did I just punch? It doesn't matter, because I throw those things away immediately. And there's the Scout. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Let's just jump right into it. Look at these ships. They look like they'd be a lot heavier. They're, uh, they're solid, but they're not heavy. They're just uh, they're plastic. Those are pretty nice. All the same sculpts. I'm sure it would have been nice to have uh, Customized skulls, but these look pretty nice. This is, these are definitely nicer than I anticipated them being. And I can't complain about that. Ooh, look at how this, okay. Let me just zoom in on this real quick or bring this up rather. Let's get this out of here. Look at the, uh, the insert for the game. It actually seems to make sense. So many of these inserts in games just don't make any sense. Here's Wally's legs. Or not, I'm sorry, Scout's Legs. It is not Wally. -E. All right, so let's open these cards. Aha, nice, there's a little hole in here for me to grab. Thank you, manufacturing issue. All right, so here we have the cards. It's a nice linen finish on them, looks like, yep. All the same backs. Let's see, we have all the different, uh, the different cards here, Navigator, Voyager, Traveler, Adventurer, Ranger, Gatherer, Wayfarer, Researcher, Pioneer, Inventor. How long did it come, how long did it take to think up a ton of different occupations that end in R? Trekker, oh that one just says Forbidden, Seeker, Experimenter, Surveyor, Scavenger, Collector, Adventurer. Okay, so we're going back through a few. Nice, gain, <laughs> you can gain the Atari. Yes, please. Nice. These cards are, uh, I mean, they're, they're good. They're standard cards. Not too thick. 
I like my cards thicker, but you know, that's fine. And here we go, let's start checking out these, these gems. Yeah, these look really solid. Let's get them all out here. I don't know if you can tell, there's a nice little shine to them. Oh, that, that's cool. These look very, very thematic space rock. You know, these look sharp, I like these. Cannot complain about those. They're not generic in any way, shape, or form. They actually, hopefully those come across okay. There's a nice shine to them, and I just spilled half of them on the table. Nice. And we have here, we have the, I'm gonna call these orange, I think. You're gonna find out that there are some colors that I get confused on. Okay, these are more of like a salmon-y color. You see those? It's pretty nice. Again, a nice little sheen to them. Nice, look like they could be legitimate rocks or legitimate gems. So let me throw these back in here. Components on this game are definitely nice for, for what I expected. And then, oops. These are the little lavender looking ones. Again, a nice little shine to them. Man, I got, I'm just gonna throw them all on the ground all day today, huh? Yeah, so these look really good. And, wow, it seems overkill for the bags. I'm not complaining. Look at all the bags that they had. I guess for each of the tokens? Why, what? I don't know, there's a lot of bags for this. Almost unnecessarily so. But again, I like bags in my games. I like to be able to sort stuff. So it's nice that they uh, include enough, but it sure seems like a lot. And then here are the tiles. And we don't have to punch them out. Oh, look at that. So let's start with this. So this one, it's nice and it's like a board, it's hinged. And there's the, the base station that you are going to be building everything next to. So nice artwork on that, nice thick card on it. And there's a symbol on the top, which not sure what it means. It means give you a high five to your, to your neighbor. All right, and then what else? What else do we have here? We have the Fusion Falls. And then there's the back so you can randomize them. Astral, Astral Arcade. All right, this is gonna get a play tonight, I think. I'm gonna figure this one out as soon as possible. Get something out there on this. Lunar Woods. Little, little people hanging out there. Now are those aliens or are those the people visiting the planet? That is the question. Celestial Seas, must be the people visiting the planet because they're here too. And Cosmic Canyon. Uh-oh, he lost his friend or he pushed him overboard. Excellent, and here is that insert. Perfectly suitable, is there anything underneath? More art underneath that you will never see unless you get rid of the insert. <gasps> Could that mean expansion's coming? Who knows? But yeah, so that is Space Park. My Kickstarter de jour, Kickstarter of the day. So, all right, there you have it. I'll be getting this one to the table. I'll clean it up after the fact. But yeah, I'll be doing some run-throughs on this one. I'm looking forward to this. Anyway, that is Keymaster Games Space Park. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, yeah, whoops, there you go. I'm gonna go shut this off so I can start figuring out how to play this game. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. We will see you next time. See ya.